It's a pleasure to bring you our PGA Tour action live on 2K Sports. Today's coverage of the Skipjack Open is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. Hi, I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam. It's been great to have your company here. And Rich, we're into the final round now. What's our next player dealing with as they get it underway? Never easy going to bed with the lead, and they're out here today. It's probably weighing on them a little bit. I gotta say, though, this player has been playing well. That's why they have the lead. So they have to be excited, and they have to like their chances going to this final round. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's see how it unfolds. Okay, let's get those two important things back. Timing and tempo. Well, I know that we're in the booth and not right up close to it, but it doesn't take a smart person to work out. That's not a nice lie. Yes, difficult lie. Made a par here yesterday. A little bit more difficult today. Trying to get it to move a little bit to the left here. And this is an extremely long putt. We might even have to hinge on this one. That's pretty fancy. Nice start. And always a good feeling to have early in the round. That shot's so good, we need to have another look. Well, Rich, that's got to feel good, opening the first with an under par score. I can't ever recall him making a birdie and feeling bad about it, so yes, birdie on the first, great job. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honor on the hole. Looked like they were swinging a snake, not a golf club. Well, that was a strange one. Didn't see that happening. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. Big power saver coming up for this fella. This one's tracking. Nicely hold. And for par. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. Teeing off here at the third hole. Well, on the tee now, coming off for par. Chance to pipe one up the middle. Looks like a similar approach to yesterday. Same spot as yesterday, looking for the same result today. <laughs> Opting for the hybrid, I think. Uh, this player's dialed in. What a shot. Getting ready to play their third. Didn't that look good for a long time? Well, what a start. This is impressive. That is definitely a confidence builder. Currently in first position. The play so far has been stellar, increasing the lead, Luke. But can they maintain it? Let's find out. The tee is yours. Here we are at the fourth hole. Do you attack it and try and increase your lead, or do you lay back and play safe? I like to attack it. What do they like to do? Well, now you just got to pray for good luck, because that one's heading towards the sand. Here's a chance to get up and down from the greenside bunker. Yeah, they parred this hole yesterday, but from easier circumstances today, a little more difficult, but still doable. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Just a fantastic shot. Guaranteed birdie he didn't get that close. This one just outside seven feet to the hole. It's half a chance of being hold, this one. And the putt will go. What a great display of resilience on this hole. 
It was off the tee with their tee shot. Nice save indeed. It's time to step on the tee here at the fifth. Going with the five iron here. This one needs to kick left. Yep, that shot safely on the green. Lining up the birdie putt here. Tracking. You can mark it down. That's birdie number four today. Oh, that settles the nerves right there. Great stuff. Now four shots up after that hole. Here we have a par five. Is it time to get after it or play it safe? That swing reminded me of smooth jazz. Great rhythm. Coming off a hat trick of birdies. That's great momentum. Opting for the nine iron. Wow, what a shot. Well, it'd be nice to make this one. This one's for Eagle. Go on, get in the hole. Well, you're going to be hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Well, there's some real momentum with this player coming off an eagle at the last. Going with the six iron here. Great shot into the seventh and a chance for birdie. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. Our current leader is enjoying a six stroke advantage. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Standing on this par four and leading. What's the strategy? What's going on through their mind? Attack it or lay back. That should find the cut stuff. Time for the second shot at the eighth. Should find the green here. Five feet coming up to the cup. Good stroke. A wonderful putt. You can claim it. Back to back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke. Get their groove on. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. You've arrived at a par four. That should find the fairway. Playing from around 160 yards. Going with the eight iron here. Yeah, not a bad effort, that one. Up onto the green and a chance to hold your putt. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two putt here is still good. Well done. Yes, but if they start thinking about it, that's where the danger happens. They have to keep their head down and keep playing on the front foot if they want to see this thing home.
Yeah, that one will play. From around 140 yards here. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Oh, this would be handy if it could bounce right. Well, you're a ball striker. There's no doubt about that. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. Yeah, nice mid-range birdie putt, that one. Our current leader is enjoying a seven-stroke advantage. Ooh, we're at the par three here. I love these holes. Nice birdie at the last. Let's see what they can produce here. Going with the 9-iron, nine nine, I think. Well, that's beautifully judged. Made birdie on the last. Looking for a second in a row here. Oh, what a stroke. And another one goes. And with it, an increase of his lead. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. Our current leader is enjoying an eight-stroke advantage. Uh, not quite the shot he was wanting. Well, a man on the ground, John McCarthy, would have a better look at this. How's it lying? I don't know how much of this one they can get. Uh, it ended up quite, uh, quite deep down into this rough. Well, this one's right at the pin. This putt coming up is for birdie. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. Good putt, that. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Welcome to the tee at this par five hole. Go get after it. Luke, this player coming off a birdie on the last hole, getting some momentum going their direction. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. Second shot here on their 13th hole. The interesting choice of the driver here. Well, this is one of those lies that dictates a shot. It doesn't seem like it's a tough one. Birdie on this hole yesterday, but highly doubtful from the lie they have today. How close was that to going down? Steps up to a punt of about 15 feet in distance. Just didn't drop. Big putt for Parry coming up. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Leading by six strokes after that one. This hole is a par four, and it's a pretty lengthy one at that. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Time for the second shot at the 14th. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. Four right. That's uh, a little wayward. Need to take a little less club on that approach. Wow. 
That was handy holding out from there. Oh, went from the outhouse to the penthouse with that chip in. And let's have another look at that one. And now that finds him in first place. This hole is a par three. Okay, not the best result, but a chance to get up and down. Lots of greens and regulations today for this player, but not so on this occasion. Certainly makes putty easy if he can chip it that close. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. And he needs this to save par. And down she goes. And a nice feeling it must be to have that sizable of a lead coming down the stretch. Well, it's time to head back down to the fairway. Our leader is up by a whopping six shots now. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish. This hole is a par five. Oh, what a wonderful play. Leading with intent. Woo-wee. They show movies on flight shorter than that. Going with the hybrid. Ah, that one's heading out to the right. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. This is from miles away. Oh, so close. And he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hold. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Let's find out. Seeing off here on the 17th hole. Opting for the six iron. This one looks like it's going right. Well, there's a very good reason why he's leading this tournament, and that's exhibit A. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Okay, let's head to the next. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. And a chance to ice the tournament here. Holding the lead, playing the last. That reminded me of the big easy. Silky smooth. From around 220 yards. Opting for the five wood. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Using the big boy muscles to get it home in two there. Well, all that hard work, it's time to pay it off. Make this for the tournament. was a gallant attempt four feet to the cup well there it is what a wonderful win rich backing up the brinks truck once again this week filling it up well that's worth reviewing let's roll the video tape
Well, that'll just about do it. On behalf of Rich Bean, I'm Luke Elvin. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time.